As well as looking at uh, speech recognition and screen reading software, I'd like to just spend some time looking at uh, another access method which is particularly useful for people who have more complex difficulties in accessing a site. So someone who might not have necessarily a lot of movement but can have some access to what's called a switch. So in this case it's going to be a switch access system. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a switch, a switch is essentially a button which you can press and it has an electrical current so you can it just really just you know let's go and, and, and activates the, the, the electrical current but what it's connected to is an intermediary thing called like a switch box something like like this it's a it's a joy cable or in the case that I'm using is I've got a, what's called a crick USB switch so the switch can be set up to act as an enter key a tab key a space key it might be one switch that you're using or it might be as you can see on the USB switch there are four input switches so you can set the switch up to be an enter key, tab key, space key etc. Really depends on the kind of user who's, who's actually accessing the, the, the switches. Also that's very important is the position of switches. Uh, on this one I have a, a, a Maxis inclusive tray where I've got some velcro and I can position the switches in, in different positions. And again, this would give access to someone who maybe has limited difficulty or maybe has uh, difficulties with gross motor skills as well, that they can either just hit the switch, the switch quite hard, depending on uh, how, 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 how they need to access that switch. However, switch also, switches also come not just necessarily in the button shape, as like the large switch here, or the, the, what's known as the jelly bean switch, but they also come in uh, something like something like, like, like this as well. Uh, so you can see this, I can just hold this quite nicely in my hand. And I'm going to navigate the site by using the switch, by using a, a program called Easy Keys, which has some really nice features in for getting around the site. So just by activating the switch, by hitting the switch now, you can see it's scanning around the, the screen. So I'm going to go down to something what's called a mouse scan, and the yellow scanning down here. I'm just going into MS for mouse scan. Now, for someone who's using this on a frequent basis, this will be going much, much faster, but you, you can speed up or increase the speed rates. You get a good idea of what I'm going to do shortly. So I'm just going to move into here. And you can see the scanner's now scanning around. The mouse moves to where I hit the switch. And now I want to do a single mouse click. And you can see there's a single mouse click representation on the screen. So I'm just going to navigate down to that. Single mouse click. And that's going to take the page. Similarly, if I wanted to go back again to the home page, I'll just do the mouse scan again. Scans into the home page. And I might think, well, actually, I didn't want to go to the home page. I maybe wanted to go to About Us. So what the, the software also offers is a, a facility for doing horizontal uh, scanning as well. So I'm just going to do some horizontal scanning now as we scan in. So here's my horizontal scan coming down to the About Us. I'm just going to stop there. And I've got a vertical scan back down to my mouse click. Single page again. And there we are to about us. So you can see it's quite useful for getting around around the site. And all I'm using is just one click of this. Now remember the switch could be located, for example, it might be at someone's head, it could be down at their knee, it could even be down at the foot. So it can be located in a number of places, giving people access to the information on the site.